It's all about pest control. I know that we had cats uh, on campus for quite a while, a long period of time prior to me being the principal here, and they were taken off campus for a period of time, but during that time frame, which is about five years ago, up until about three years ago, uh, the rats came back and we had a huge rat problem, uh, which did a lot of damage to our school. And so, particularly one summer when we came back from summer break, the rats had done a lot of damage in the ceiling, on the roof, in the classrooms, in our laboratories, eating things and just destroying things. So what we decided to do was allow the cats to come back. Um, I think the predominant reason the cats got brought back onto campus was because of the um, the senior prank several years ago where a bunch of kids released mice on campus and that creates a huge road problem. Plus this area is, I mean, roof rats are everywhere and it's, this area has got a prevalent roof rat issue so the cats keep those in check and keep them in control and I think they brought the cats back just to help keep down rodents and other vermin. Well, the cats, the, the times I saw them were like really, really in the morning, like zero hour in the morning. And those are also the times that I caught them. There's usually barely any students on campus, that probably because they're scared of the students if the storm drain incident wasn't anything to go by. Yeah, I, uh, I see the cats really every single day um, because I stay pretty late most of the days. They are out and about on campus um, hunting and looking for rodents to eat. And uh, I just think it's a great thing that the cats have come back, if you were to ask me. I think they're our best friends right now. Usually it's like after school when the kids are, you know, the campus is quiet and kids are gone. Um, sometimes you'll see them on the weekends or like I've been here in the evenings once in a while to grade. Um, you'll see them in the back compound area since I park back there. You'll see it, you'll see the cats, you know, back there and things like that. Cause hey, they dumpster dive too. <laughs> Halfway, I think it was second semester of my freshman year, there was a kitten that I saw early in the morning and I, it was so cute. I wanted to keep it so I chased it down and I managed to corner it and pick it up and surprisingly I did not get scratched. And uh, it was a very cute cat. I named it Pumpkin. I called my mom and she said, absolutely not. We already have two cats. I don't care if it's free, no. My thought is that they're hiding or nesting somewhere in the garden area behind the school, but it's hard to tell. I've never seen them, uh, I don't see them sleeping, so they're well hidden but they do come out when the sun sets and they begin hunting. And uh, I do see them almost every night. No, I think, I think they're good. I think they serve a viable purpose for here at school. Okay. Uh, I've caught one more cat on this campus. It wasn't as orange as Pumpkin was and I didn't name this cat. Uh, I remember like two or so years back uh, there were a group of kids that were crowding around the storm drain trying to pull a cat out of there. Um, the security guards quickly dispersed them. But I'm pretty sure I let that one go. I caught it, asked my mom if I could keep it. She said no. I really missed an opportunity by not naming it. I haven't seen it since either. Um, and I can honestly say that the cats are our friends. The rats are gone, they've done their job, they continue doing their job on a nightly basis.